And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gang Planks Fate. We're going to be trying some new cards that got buffed up in this um, aggressive mid range Gang Plank Twisted Fate deck. Uh, first things first, we got a new one drop. You know, not new, you know, but you know, just stay with me. <laughs> we got a new one drop for the deck with uh, Legion Rearguard coming back. It's back to a 3-2 again. So we're gonna go ahead and play this card. Last time that we played the deck, we were playing Crackshot Corsair. So we're gonna have Legion Rearguard instead with it being that 3-2. The two health is really important for a lot of decks uh, for Noxus, but like a main reason why that's important because uh, we want to play Imperial Demolitionist and we want to be able to play this on turn two. So that deal one to the ally, have it survive, that's, a, that's really important. Now, since we're going Bilgewater, that's going to be even more important because we also, for our other two drop, we got Fortune Croaker to be able to draw cards. So both of our two drops um, here, besides the Legion Grenadier, but like these two two drops, you want to have something on turn one that can take one damage and stay alive. And that's why we played Crackshot Corsair as our other one drop uh, previously in this deck um, with Jagged Butcher. But now we got the rear guard that can just attack for more on its own. And so that... Uh, you know, that should be pretty nice. So we're going to try that out. That's going to be something to test out. And then um, also going to test out Dreadway at the top end. Because now the Dreadway costs 8 mana. Um, before we were playing Captain Farron in this deck. And I'm, you know, I'm skeptical. Captain Farron is incredible. So I'm skeptical to see if Dreadway will be better than Captain Farron. But, you know, like it's good to it's good to try stuff out. And so let's, let's try it out. Good news, this draws a Gangplank. That's pretty awesome. And then it, obviously the whole double all your damage by your stuff is pretty good too. So we'll see. Captain Farron is like a better if they kill all of your things and you just need like a late game top deck to win you the game. Captain Farron will do a better job of that. But if you already have like a good board presence, dropping Dreadway will kind of be better with like all that double the damage and everything like that. So, um, yeah, so th those are a couple of different cards that we're going to try. Also, we're going to play two Whisper Words in here, um, playing this over Salvage. Not really not going to be any difference between this and salvage but the last time we played the deck i think we had salvage and we're going to be playing whisper words instead uh spray fin's got, got two targets it's, it's got death's hand it's got ravenous flock um uh yeah so we did have salvage before yeah so we had salvage before but now we'll have whisper words not there's probably not going to be much difference but you might as well play the whisper words right because maybe your gangplank hits four times <laughs> and then it costs two right like there's no there's no downside in playing whisper words might as well play it also, it's it's better for us, I guess, too, because uh, so we have we have six spells. We have three Death Hand, three Ravenous Flock for Sprayfin, and it is possible to like have Salvage like toss like two Ravenous Flocks, and then like you you know maybe you have one more, but then like you know you can run out of like cards for Sprayfin to draw right because you accidentally because you toss stuff right. So it is it's definitely gonna be better to play Whisper Words than Salvage because of that because the toss is a downside in the deck. Um, so yeah. Especially when you're playing Sprayfin, they can they can draw you. You may think, oh, those cards are the bottom of your deck. You can't ever find them. Well, Sprayfin can actually find those. Uh, let's see. But yeah, that's that's what we got. So flock sentry combo, all that kind of stuff. So it's not like all aggressive, right? Like we're not all aggro here. We're not playing like twelve one drops and all aggro uh, and just all burn spells because like we're not going noxion fervor, right? So we go we are going a little bit mid rangey with like being able to draw cards with Twisted Fate. We got the Sprayfin, the Whisper Words, the Croaker. You know, so we can we can get some card draw with that, but then we also have like some some top end, and we have some interaction like stun, flock, things like that. All right, that's our deck. Let's get to it. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Oh, Ezreal Gangplank. So we're gonna have a, a Gangplank Mirror. We got Noxus. They got PNZ. This will be interesting to try out. I like the th these three cards over here. Death Sand doesn't kill Ezreal or like I'm, I'm thinking about mulligating the Death Sand. It doesn't kill a lot of the stuff we needed to kill, like uh, Ballistic Bot, um, Ezreal. I don't know what other threats they're gonna have. They're, they may have like the three mana four three. I think I'm gonna mulligan this. But the thing is, is like it can pair up with like our smaller uh, units. To kill those kind of cards. Alright, well, we got it back. We're gonna go Grenadier on turn two. We don't necessarily, like, need to, like, draw a card immediately. 
Grenadier attacks better. No, we go Grenadier. I'll buy you some time. Who's that you got there? I, I would think if they had Static Shock, though, they wouldn't want to trade their 2-2 for my 2-2, because they would want just a Static Shock to kill both of those. Get bloody, get paid. I would have thought. Who's gonna get in my way? Ooh, got some fighting ya. Yeah. Okay, so so far we've completely traded cards, completely traded mana, they've taken three damage. I thought you'd never ask. Keep up, keep up. Love it. One shot, all skill. So I'm going to save Flock, because we can use Death's Hand now to kill that thing. So I think, like, Sentry plus Flock on something else is going to be more important. Yeah, something like that. I guess I have to kill Ezreal? the Ezreal first, I guess. I'm fairly happy they didn't copy Funsmith, but... Um... What's the best Destiny card to play? Is it blue card? Probably not going to level up this Twisted Fate, right? So maybe I'll just cast this Whisper Words first to have the extra mana. No, then I still can't go Jagged Butcher Fate. Okay, so no. All right. We don't need the extra one mana. Eyes open. We'll be playing the Butcher here. I'm not going to be playing the Whisper Words. There's plenty of killing there. Because, yeah, I want to play these two, right? Because I want to play Gangplank. <laughs> okay, so they didn't attack, so now they can attack and kill my Powder Keg. That's just how it is. Wow. That's just not a good... Like, why would you not just kill that Powder Keg right there? Alright, so now I can stun things. 
I can open attack. I feel like I should stun blockers. Right, like I go sentry stun, they do like whatever, I go sentry stun again. Yeah, I'm not sure if Mystic Shot does 5 or 6 damage right now. Okay, looks like it's Mystic Shot would have been 6 damage. But that's a, that's a get excited that's not doing any damage to me. They discarded a Funsmith. If I go, because if I go stun again, then they go gangplank, and then I have to yeah, attack into gangplank. Mistakes. But I guess. still get to play Gangplank this turn? Yeah, that parlay is nice that they get to kill that and still play Gangplank this turn. Why are they not playing Gangplank? I don't understand. I guess they're, they're worried about my burn spell, I guess. Yeah, like this thing's 10 damage overwhelm, right? Because it gets doubled. Like, I, I am very scared of that King Plank. I'll shoot the wings off of they only have one card left. Never Hopefully, it's not a, a good card. Just let me do three to all this. No, what are you doing? What happened? That's too bad. That was like the best possible card <laughs> in their deck. Yeah, that was like the best possible card. It's not only not a bad card, that was the best possible. Witness perfection, meat bags. For silver, I talk for gold, I listen. Destiny awaits. So they attacked with that so it could deal four. That seemed pretty aggressive. Alright, come on. Uh, Ravenous Block. Oh, not Death's Hand. Oh. Man, those, these last two cards they've had. Static Shock, then Spray Fin. For the Empire. You for the moment. They're at seven. I can't really kill them. I can try to kill the gangplank. So like maybe like the the thing is like well you can kill the gangplank because that's gonna be a ten power overwhelm. But if this if this card the, we know that they got a, a spell that costs three or less. If that spell does nexus damage at all, that levels up the gangplank. But I guess that just means that we die if that is the case. So I might as well might as well do this because if if that's anything that does nexus damage, I guess we're just kind of dead anyway. So like might as well. Like if I kill the if I kill the elusive thing and then kill the fun smith, I can attack in with everything and get some amount of damage in, but it's not going to be enough to. It wouldn't be enough to kill them. I could put them like down to one, right? Like, but that's also like assuming this card. Like, what what is that card possibly that they're not doing anything with it? But it wouldn't kill them, and and I'd be out of burn spells that could kill them anyway. I guess I could draw a Twisted Fate, but I, I've used all my Death's Hands now. Ready, aim, Captain's orders. Bullet to the rounds closed. Uh. 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 Reporting in. <laughs> 
So basically, if, if I just killed like the, the elusive and killed the fun smith, I just didn't think there was any way for me to kill them. Okay, so their card was get excited. Which, you know, kills me. Yeah, a couple of great cards for them to have at the end there. Static Shock was the best possible, and then draw Sprayfin, which, you know, also gets get excited. That was that was awesome. Lucian Azir. Alright. Back to aggro. First time playing against Lucian Azir today. Mulligan. I like keeping Gangplank. When I already ha already know that I'm going to have a good one, good turn two. It's like I don't need to like look for a specific good turn one, turn two play. So I just like the 5-5 five, five body. I think that it matters a lot. We haven't really drawn the best. Such a great combination. With our three draws. Four draws, we didn't find anything that costs three or less mana. This is, if we lose this game, it's probably like this turn. This, well, turn two and turn three were both terrible for us. <laughs> Ballista, you're one card short. You need not follow, but you will witness. You're one card short to Ballista. What's up, Nihilus? Remember this day. I'm not sure if I want to spend my spell mana on this. I guess so. I could see just not playing this and just we waste one mana and I keep three mana. Let's see, if I go Gangplank next turn, I think I'm going to pass. I think I want that mana. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Azir so bossy. Yeah, I mean, keep, keeping this flock man is really you important. Dare. You in what army? That thing's gonna hurt. Keep up, keep up. Maybe they don't have anything else to attack with four mana. Maybe they have all spells. My name will echo Yuck. The or they have the best possible card they can have. One of the two. Gross. Destiny calls. It is time. Tell the people what you have seen today. It is time. Gross. Best possible card to have. You pay first. Right, we're at two. Needed flock. <laughs> Last game we could have definitely used these dreadways. Uh, we don't need them against the Lucian Azir aggro deck. Only if we switch those up. Alright. GG's. 
Okay, Draven Jinx. We'll see if we can do a little bit better against this aggro deck. Well, we'll keep the first three. <laughs> We've done a very poor job of drawing a whole lot of Whispered Words and Dreadways in these aggro matches. You know, like, we do have those four cards, so I guess four out of 40 is 10% of the deck. So we do have 10% of the deck that we really don't want to draw in these matchups, and we're, we're unfortunately drawing a, a lot of those. I'll do better this time. Like, how do we keep on getting, like... There's only there's four copies total. Two whisper words, two dreadways. How do we keep drawing like two to four of those four cards? In case they play Arena Battlecaster, I'm gonna pass with Sentry. Very good draw. So we can kill Jinx with Sentry Flock. I like doing all the trading, of course, because of crowd favorite. The more trades, the better. And obviously we have these Whisper Words also, so that's another reason why the more trades, the better. Is he here yet? Oh, man. not killing Jinx, but maybe we find another one of those before the game's over. Raven? Well then. Never lost a fair game. Was well, gonna open attack, but I guess not. You think I should go demolitionist first? Something for all. Of you. I could see that. I was thinking like they they play Jinx, they block something, and then I ravenous block the Jinx afterwards. All right, but yeah, that was a perfect twist of fate. It was in the car. Forgot about Twisted Fate being in our deck. <laughs> that card's amazing. Alright, Lucian Azir. Let's get our revenge. We lost game two against Lucian Azir. Let's see if we can do better. I like our hand. I don't play anything on turn two. Should that should I mulligan the Gangplank? Was keeping Gangplank last time not good? I mean The Gangplank helped tussle with our 4-6. 4-6 normally would be pretty tough. Try. Yeah, there was yeah, there there wasn't much of a nerf for Twisted Fate for this deck, that's for sure. See what we see. Sand and blood! Who's that you got there? Let's just trade one drops. Playing Grenadier would let me keep Death's Hand up, but I just feel like the 4 3 is going to be better.
Should I let the Valor kill my Ballista? Do I let that trade? Do I let that happen? I'm not sure if I want that to happen. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. So I can keep my 4-1 alive, which then blocks their 3-4. I think that's the play. I think this is the play. I don't think it's kill his ear. Okay, if they would have just attacked with a 3-4, I would have traded with a 3-4, but um, instead we got to kill the Azir and be able to save Death's Hand for, you know, Lucian or whatever else. My name will echo through the ages. He has six health. How do you ever kill these things? That's why we need gangplank. Yeah, I was worried about that. usually have Gangplank be the small thing in the aggro matchups, but Azir's too big. Where's my axe? Together we are part of something more. Together you are children of Shurima. Dead men tell my tale. Where is Twisted Fate? Why can't we ever have that card? This is the end. All right, let's let's go. We're gonna draw Twisted Fate this time, and we're gonna make up for uh, no Twisted Fates before. It really looks like we need culling strikes, right? Like I think that's what it kind of looks like. That like maybe instead of death's hands, like we should be playing culling strikes. Right, culling strike is just like the card that you need against Azir. It's, I don't love it for like other matchups and everything. I I don't love like having to play it, but if if you're only going to play against this deck and you're going to play against this deck as much as we've played against it the last couple of days. You just have to, you know, you have to adapt. You can kind of start playing cooling strikes. Victory at any cost. <laughs> if I kill you, I don't want you, stupid. Just need a second. You 
need not follow, but you will witness. I'm expecting them to have pump spells and protection and stuff, how they didn't how they saved that spell mana and didn't do anything. So there's no no surprise there. I don't think I attack with the 2-1 and just let the Azir block the 2-1 for free. Alright, so two sharp sights gone. Find Ravenous Flock number three. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Push back See, like, Ravenous Flock is like one mana calling strike. Basically. Alright, let's miss some folks up. Alright, so we're at ten. Oh, I hear them. I kind of have to block with Lucian. Kinda have to. Go ahead. There we go. But they can keep Lucian alive. So Lucian's seen two things die now. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I mean, it's not game over. What order do I want to do with these things? Let me do this turn. Okay, good thing we did that. A nice little red card. Get them down to four. Get the solution out of here. I told y'all we were gonna find Twisted Fate and we were gonna win. Finally drew a Twisted Fate. War Mason, reporting for duty. And it looks like we're gonna win. Is that a coincidence? Probably not. Probably not. Death doesn't scare me. We live here. If they don't break, they'll burn. Okay. We can win the matchup. We just have to draw all three ravenous blocks and find a twisted fate. But those ravenous flocks were clutch, that's for sure. Okay, so we finished up two and three with our Gangplank's Fate deck. I think this is a pretty good deck though. Um, you know, like this is basically just what, like the same kind of deck that we played during the last uh, Invitational with those changes that we talked about at the beginning. Um, it does kind of look like maybe if, if you're gonna be facing Azir a bunch, maybe finding, calling, like finding room for Calling Strike is the way to go. Um, even though I don't, you know, I don't love the, that card in all the matchups, but um, it is really important against his ear. You just kind of wish you could play like more than three Ravenous Flocks, you know? That's like the card that is awesome. And we had all three Ravenous Flocks that last game, and that was a, a big deal. Killing, a, we had one killed Illusion, one killed an Azir, one killed that Inspiring Marshal. That was a big deal. I don't know about Dreadway still. I. Uh, you know, like all these fast matchups, you really just don't need Dreadway at all. And as we saw, we, we played against four aggro decks where we just didn't need it. The one matchup that was like a mirror match that we did need Dreadway, our opponent had it, we didn't, and they killed us with their Dreadway. So that was sad. But I could I could see just playing this deck without it. Um, because even like the control decks, like where you want 
like your slower decks where you want the dreadway you have you still have like card advantage and everything you know like you have your fortune croakers brave in whisper words you, you're still drawing a bunch a bunch of cards so i could just see like replacing dreadway with you know maybe culling strikes or things like that i could see just going you know like one one captain fair and one culling strike for the two dreadways i think that could make some sense or a, a fervor if you like playing fervor but um i enjoyed it it's a fun deck to play it's pretty good and uh twisted fate is definitely the card that you really want against other aggro decks because the gold card the red card those two are awesome against aggro decks and and obviously this is the card you want against control as well this is basically just the best card in the deck so we didn't uh we only found the one twisted fate against the three lucian azir decks and so that was the game that we won but that was also the game we had ravenous flocks and things like that um, so there's other reasons why we won that game but this is certainly the card that you want to draw we saw we we played this game or we played this card in two games and won those two games i guess the very first game we we played it in the mirror match and we didn't end up winning that one but that's because my opponent had dreadway but yeah so I don't, i'm not sure this dreadway really fits in here um yeah i, I think i would go call, one calling strike one um the the problem like calling strike's good to grab with sprayfin too but of course the problem with it is the more the more non-ravenous flocks you play the less chance you draw a ravenous flock which ravenous flocks just like the card you always want for the most part but i think probably a captain farron or um I don't know, a Kato, or, you know, just, like, something cheaper. Some parlays. I don't know. Anyway, that's it here for Gang Planks 8. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of new Legion Rearguard or anything else, what other kind of decks you want to see on stream. Y'all know the drill. Just uh, leave those comments. And, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some Gangplank's Fate, and I will see you for the next video.